Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Edie Tipton, and I am the nurse researcher for Blessing Hospital. I'm also the chair of the Evidence-Based Practice and Research Council here at the organization, and um, I get the honor and pleasure of working side by side with many different um, nurses who are skilled and compassionate. So I welcome everyone um, to this section of our 2021 Nurse Week Award Ceremony where we honor someone who has had um, an innovation research or evidence-based practice project um, that was nominated. So I um, have always been really excited about evidence-based practice and that's what really got me into this role. And I've kind of been um, anticipating that one day I will help grow evidence-based practice and research and the innovations within the organization one day so much that I would get to have an award to honor all the cool work that nurses do to be able to contribute to our profession and improve the outcomes of our patients, our families, and each other. So today's that day, and I can't be more excited. Um, you know, over the last three years that I've been in this role, I have been able to see nurses complete their more and more nurses complete their masters, get involved in our evidence-based practice council, and really be passionate about trying to um, improve those patient outcomes and culture of our organization. And within the last year, I've even seen four nurses become published from our organization, which is just probably one of the proudest moments that I have ever had in my job. So this year, I am so honored and grateful to be able to present this award. So first, we're going to uh, go forth with our nominees. Our first nominee was Holly Woodruff from Nursing Professional Development for her work with <laughs> mothers who had um, experienced a loss and healing stones. <laughs> Our next nominee is Victoria Schild from Inpatient Care Coordination. <laughs> and her work with delirium screening. And then our last nominee was Jan Ackwright from Blessing Riemann College of Nursing and Health Sciences and her work with fathers during the maternal process. So with great excitement, I present the winner of the very first Research Innovation and Evidence-Based Practice Award to Holly Woodruff. I just pointed you in the right direction. You did the work. I just knew the direction. But you were fantastic. She was my editing circle buddy. <laughs> Thank you. So. Do you have a nomination story? Um, so Holly, before you run away, I wanted to tell you a little bit about your nomination story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Holly, you were nominated by one of your colleagues, and this is what they said. Holly was recently published in a journal of nursing for her research done on the impact of crystal healing on maternal grief following perinatal or newborn loss. While metaphysics or these alternative type therapies may seem taboo to some, there are many people who find the benefit in related practices. Holly is very holistically driven both personally in her life and as a nurse and carries that in her aura of tranquility and peace. Congratulations, Holly. Thank you. 